guys bad look at this in here and this is my custom lego deadpool minifigure showcase and i have a very special guest with me and his name is jumping jack studios and so yeah guys i'm doing another collaboration video with jumping jack studios if you guys want to go check out his channel links down in the description down below as always in every single one of my videos so please go subscribe to jumping jack studios and uh yeah so this is a showcase of my custom lego deadpool and this is not from the movie so don't get any haters in the comments saying oh this is a really crappy one uh, from the movie it's actually just from a like an animated one my own kind of style to this so anyways guys yes that's all for the intro. Now let's go ahead and get straight into this minifigure showcase. Okay, guys, so here is the minifigure. This is my custom Lego Deadpool. And, uh, guys, I really like how he turned out with all the sculpting on him and all the paint jobs on him. And he just looks really good. So, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get straight into this minifigure. As you guys can see from the bottom, I did paint some plain red legs just to make that black detailing he has right there. Looks pretty cool. And uh, also his guns are just some plain brick ford guns that I had to paint up. And you guys can see I painted the trigger right there. If you guys can see right there on the gun right there. And also I just painted some gun metal tips and stuff like that. And I painted these uh, silver metal parts right there. And the belt was actually made by one by one plant pieces that I had to cut up. And then I had the Deadpool symbol which is actually the top of a stud. And I had to flatten that out and then put that there. It looks really big but again... This is like a cartoony version, so it looks pretty good. Anyways, and then as you guys can see, this is actually the normal torso. It's the old torso I used from the old Deadpool when I sculpted it onto the head. And uh, But yeah, that's what I had to use because I really wanted to use that. Also, just some sculpting onto the shoulders right there and paint jobs on the shoulders as well. And uh, yeah, so then the one of these swords right here, I actually had to paint them with a silver right there. And I had to paint that red stripe on there as well just to make that that much cooler and as you guys can see on the back he has the uh, little you know red thing hanging down his little cloth thing hanging down because of the mask he wears i had to sculpt that and uh yeah so that's about it for this minifigure now i'm gonna ask jack's final thoughts and opinions on this minifigure okay so once again i'm gonna congratulate um jordan on this minifigure awesome awesome job the swords the guns all the logos everything looks amazing um, everything's sculpted by him, and um, the top is done really well. Um, he had an earlier version that um, didn't look quite as good as this one, I thought, but um, this one's definitely an improvement. And uh, the Deadpool symbol in the middle, um, the painted guns, and the belt, and the ammo straps, all that stuff, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, just a really great minifigure overall. Well, thank you for that, uh, Jumping Jack Studios. And as you guys, uh, as like I said in the intro, if you guys want to go check out Jack's channel, the links will be down in the description down below, as well as my second channel. So go subscribe to both of those channels. And anyways, guys, I want to wrap up this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. See you guys.